I wanted to make a burger, but not just a regular burger. I wanted to make a stuffed burger, and I'm going to show you guys how I did that. Here I have two and a half pounds of ground beef. And you guys can get yours from the store or grind it up. And I'm also going to be using um, one small bunch of cilantro. I'm also going to be using one medium to large jalapeno. Um, if you guys like that spice, then you can use a large. But I just diced it. And I'm also going to be using a mix of Kobe Jack cheese and mozzarella cheese. I just shredded my cheese myself. But if you want to, you guys can buy your cheese already pre-shredded. But it's better to shred your own cheese. And for the seasonings, we're just going to be using a half a teaspoon of garlic powder, a half a teaspoon of onion powder. Two teaspoons of salt and two teaspoons of black pepper. And if you guys need more seasonings, you can adjust the seasoning, um, like the salt. And we're also going to need one large onion. We'll be sauteing these onions to put on top of the burger. But yeah, so I'm just going to start by seasoning the meat with my uh, seasoning, which is black pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, and salt. I'm just going to mix this really good and I'm just going to mix it um, into the meat making sure um, all the ground beef is seasoned but I'm just going to mix 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 I'm just tossing my meat around and I'm just going to go in with two hands and I'm just going to mix um, my seasonings in. I'm just going to mix it and at this point I'm done mixing my meat. I'm just going to set my meat to the side. and. For my um, cheese blend, this is what I'm stuffing my burgers with. You guys can add bacon to this, but I'm just going to be using, I'm just going to be adding in my jalapeno and my cilantro. I'm just going to mix it together. And this is how it looks all mixed together. But yeah, I'm just going to set my cheese to the side and I'm going to add some butter into my cast iron skillet. And I'm just going to toast my buns and I'm using brioche buns. But I'm just going to add my buns to my pot and let them, let them get toasted. But yeah, I'm just going to add um, three of my buns into my pot. I'm just going to move them around, making sure they are getting golden brown. And as you see, they're cooking nicely and um, toasting really good well. But at this point, I'm just going to remove my uh, brioche buns from my pan because they're already um, golden and toasted. I'm just going to take them all out and I'm going to add some butter into another pan. I'm going to add about two tablespoons of butter and I'm also going to add in um, a little bit of oil. And I'm just going to dump in my sliced onions and I'm just going to begin to saute my onions. But I'm just going to mix my onions. And I'm just going to let them cook. <laughs> and let me know if you guys like um, sauteed onions on your burger. Um, sauteed onions on your burger is like really delicious. 
but yeah it's a must when you're eating a burger especially a homemade burger but yeah i'm just going to let my onions cook and at this point it's been cooking for about three minutes i'm just going to add a pinch of salt to my onions and i'm just going to mix it and your onions are going to shrink as you can see here but i'm just going to mix them and they're almost done and they've been cooking for about maybe eight minutes um, on medium heat medium to low heat you guys want to make sure you don't burn your onions but at that point the onions are done so I'm going to set it to the side and I'm just going to start um, creating my burger patties I'm just going to flatten out my ground beef into my hand and if you guys have a um, like a burger maker um, thing that you use to like form your burgers and you can also use that but I'm just going to flatten out my burger um, patty uh, making sure not to make it too thin or too thick but I'm just going to make sure um, that the burger patty is formed well and there aren't any um, like pieces trying to break like that piece was but I'm just going to set that piece to the side and I'm just going to grab some more meat and I'm just going to form it into a patty as well and these are double stacked um, burger patties so I'm just going to be uh, this is the second patty and this is going to be one whole burger But yeah, I'm just going to form it. So I'm just going to have um, the patty, one patty bigger and the other patty a little bit smaller. And you guys are going to see. But I'm just going to take my um, cheese blend and I'm going to add it into my burger. In the center of my burger I'm just going to um, add a little bit more and these burgers will look pretty big because of the um, cheese and the like stuffing in the middle but yeah I'm just going to place um, my top patty on top of the stuffing the cheese stuffing and I'm just going to press on the sides making sure it's closed well make sure you guys um like seal your patties on the side so that it won't open and your cheese spills out but yeah make sure you guys um seal your sides but yeah this is a pretty big patty I'm just going to set my patty to the side while I work on the rest of my patties. But yeah, I'm just making sure it's um the sides are closed. But a tip is you guys can um after you're done rolling out all of your burgers or like forming all of your burger patties, you could um place them in the freezer for about 15 to 20 minutes making sure it doesn't freeze all the way but like the meat cools and it'll fry better your burger patties but yeah but I'm just going to continue um to do the rest of the patties like I did the first one And you guys should definitely try this recipe. This was a really delicious recipe. 
Or if you guys are having a barbecue, you should definitely make these burgers. Everyone will um love these burgers. But yeah. I'm just going to form my second patty. And you guys can make your um burgers um bigger if you want to. But I just made um about seven burgers, seven to eight burgers. I'm just going to flatten out my meat. Um, you guys want to make sure you don't make your patty uh, so thin because it'll just um, like rip. The patty will be too thin, and then it will just it'll just expose the cheese. And yeah, you don't want to make your patty too thin. After I put in my uh, stuffing, I'm just going to add the top patty. And as you can see, I made one patty smaller and I made one patty bigger. But yeah, I'm just going to make sure the sides are um, closed. but I'm just going to gently squeeze the sides. And I'm just pressing on the sides now, making sure it's closed. I'm just going to flip it over to the other side and do the same thing. And right now I'm just flattening out my um, patty. But I'm just going to set my patty to the side. And I just decided to roll um, all of my balls out to form the patties because it'll be um, quicker. But that's what I'm doing. And you guys can also um, prep your burgers for like um, dinner, dinners and lunches. You guys could roll your meat out and like stuff your burgers and place them in the freezer and then take them out when you're ready to eat them. Uh, you can, if like you wanted to have these burgers for dinner or lunch, then you could just take them out of the freezer. And yeah, that's a um, great idea. And yeah, they'll be really delicious. But I'm just going to roll all of my um, meat out. And at this point, I'm just going to start forming my patties with the remaining meat. But like I said, these um burgers are great for a for an event or like a barbecue or just like for a dinner. But these burgers were really delicious and the stuffing inside was delicious. But yeah. And it was really cheesy in the middle. You guys have to make this recipe. But I'm just going to 
place the cheese inside in the middle part of the patty. I'm just gonna add a little more. I'm just going to push it down a little bit. I'm just going to add the top patty. And as you can see, the bottom patty is bigger than the top patty. But yeah. I'm just going to press down the sides, making sure it's closed and no cheese can come out. And I'm just going to flatten out the top. Um, I'm just going to flatten out the top. And I'm just going to toss the burger patty um, from hand to hand, making sure it's flat. And I'm also making sure that all of my ends are sealed. And um, your cheese probably will come out. Uh, mine did, but you have to make sure to seal your burgers really good. But I'm just gonna add my burger patties into my hot cast iron skillet with oil. And you guys want to make sure your burger, you cook your, um, you thoroughly cook your burger because you do not want this to be raw. And it is a double patty burger. But I'm just going to put um, my knuckle into the middle of the burger to have less, um, to stop the meat from shrinking up so much. But yeah. At this point, I'm just going to flip my burger patty. And I'm just going to flip all of them. But you guys want to make sure you cook your burgers thoroughly. As you can see, these patties are huge. And you don't want to serve anyone raw burgers. But yeah, I'm just going to flip them all. And I'm just going to add a top um, to help the process of them, uh, of the burger cooking. And cooking thoroughly inside of the burger. But yeah, at this point, I'm just going to remove the top. And I'm just going to flip my burger patties over. And let it cook on the other side. As you can see, um, the patty over there is still a little bit pink. But I'm just going to let it cook some more. I'm just going to flip it over. And let it cook. And I'm just going to be flipping my burger patties again. You guys want to make sure you um, flip your burger patties more than once so that um, they don't burn and they cook really good. But at this point, my burger patties are done. I'm just going to add some sliced mozzarella cheese. You guys can use any cheese that you like. You can use cheddar or provolone. I just use mozzarella. But I'm just going to let this melt. But once my cheese has melted on my burger, I'm just going to um, remove my burger patties from my pan. I'm just going to add it to my platter or my plate. And you have to eat these burgers while they're hot because the cheese is like ooey gooey inside. And um, it's just delicious. 
but I'm just going to remove all of my burger patties from my pan. And I'm just going to set my burgers to the side. Here I have some marinades, mustard, and ketchup. And I'm just going to mix it together. And this is the sauce for the burger um, that we're going to be putting on the burger buns. But yeah, I'm just going to begin to plate the burger. So I'm just going to add my toasted brioche bun. I'm also going to be adding some of the sauce that I just mixed up to my bun. And I'm going to place down my um, delicious burger patty along with some of the um, sauteed onions that I sauteed earlier. And you guys can add as much as you like to have the sauteed onions when you're eating this burger because it was so delicious. And I'm also going to be adding some tomatoes you guys can add any toppings that you like these are just the toppings that I like but I'm just gonna add my tomato and I'm also gonna be adding um, some lettuce I'm just going to top it off with two pieces of lettuce and for the side I'm just going to be having some fries but you guys can um, have whatever you want with this burger I just chose fries because fries goes with a burger, but I'm just going to place my top bun on top. And this is how my delicious jalapeno stuffed cheeseburger came out. And this was really good. I hope you guys tried this recipe. Make sure you guys follow me on TikTok and Instagram. Make sure you guys are subscribed and give me a thumbs up. Adios.